doing today? This is Kenya Wajardo. And I'm Caitlin Guerra. Please rise for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Under the Texas flag, I pledge allegiance to thee, Texas, one state under God, one and indivisible. I will graduate from high school, equipped to excel in the college and career of my choice, dominate 21st century skills in leadership, knowledge, language, and technology, compete in a global economy, and serve as a successful citizen in my community. Now for a moment of silence. You may be seated. Don't forget, today is our deadline for the AR testing. Those of you who are hoping to be a part of the Platinum Readers need to make sure that you test by 4 p.m. Today is also your dance. Remember, if you have not told your parents, you need to let them know to get picked up by 5.30. Hope to see you there! Every May 5th, Americans across the U.S. take the opportunity to celebrate Cinco de Mayo with parades, parties, mariachi music, folk dancing, Mexican food, and of course, margaritas. But what really happened on the 5th of May? And what are we really celebrating? For starters, it's not Mexican Independence Day, as many people mistakenly believe. Mexico actually celebrates its independence on September 16th. Instead, Cinco de Mayo commemorates an event that happened some 50 years after Mexico won its independence. In 1861, Mexican President Benito Juarez declared that his country was too poor to pay its debts to foreign nations, prompting France to invade Mexico and make it a French territory. But when French troops approached the town of Puebla on May 5, 1862, a ragtag band of Mexican troops managed to defeat them, despite being outnumbered two to one. Though it ultimately failed to halt the French advance on Mexico City, the victory became a symbol of Mexican resistance against French imperialism. With U.S. support, the Mexicans were eventually able to push out the French for good and restore Juarez to power. By that time, the Cinco de Mayo spirit had spread to the United States. Soon after the victory in Puebla, Americans of Mexican heritage used the day as inspiration for the Union struggle in the Civil War. Americans in the midst of civil war were inspired by the Mexican victory and began celebrating the 5th of May with parades, dances, speeches, banquets, and bullfights. Today, Cinco de Mayo is actually a bigger holiday in the U.S. than in Mexico, where it's mostly celebrated in the state of Puebla. So when you raise your glass on Cinco de Mayo, take an extra moment to honor the surprisingly American history behind this Mexican holiday. Feels like we see twins everywhere. Being a twin is quite rare. About 3% of all babies born in the U.S. are twins. Even rarer, identical twins are less than 1%. Well, an Alabama woman broke all odds of having identical twins. Hannah Carmack and her husband found out they were having a baby last year, and they were super excited. Then they found out that it was actually quadruplets. After their little bundles were born, they were shocked to find that their babies were actually two sets of identical twins. The odds of this happening are seven, 70 million to one. Isn't that crazy? 
In the words of Steve Martin, a day without sunshine is like, you know, night. Look for the light in everything you do because, well, if you don't, all you get is darkness. This is Caitlin Guerra and Kenny Wajardo signing off. Have a great day.